Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of our comic book reviews for the week. Today, we are going to be reviewing Justice League number 42, the second part to the Dark Side War. We start off the book with Superman saving Lex Luthor's life and cauterizing his wounds on Apocalypse. We have a, a brief look at the mighty Dark Side. Uh, then we also have a battle uh, in the book uh, with uh, Wonder Woman uh, and Darkseid's daughter. Uh, and Wonder Woman pretty much admits that this Darkseid's daughter is actually faster and stronger than she is. And most importantly, throughout the book, we have Metron who actually comes and we have Hal Jordan who talks about don't trust him because yes, we recently met over back in the Green Lantern story arc that had recently just taken place called Godhead. Good story if you haven't picked it up, read it. And then most importantly, one of the best parts of this entire book, a lot of people were under the assumption that Batman had died in Endgame. Well, if this holds any kind of continuity whatsoever, no, false, he did not die. Matter of fact, he is even better than dying he is becoming a god virtually well not virtually he he is and he is well he is bat god and uh, he is now sitting on the throne highly recommend the book there's a lot of really cool things in here i don't want to spoil too much but i can tell you that batman finally learns who the joker's real identity is and now for our rapid fire pull list we have from valiant comics the book of death Number one, this is a four part mini series. Just also happens that this particular book right here, book number one, has actually outsold every single independent book that has ever come to date. Has a little over 700,000 copies. And, well, guess what? We at One Up Collectibles also have our own exclusive. Next up is, uh, may come as a little bit of a surprise, is actually a number number one book, but this one's from Zenoscope. And we don't really review a lot of Zenoscope books, but boom, check it out. Aliens vs. Zombies. Over on Marvel, we have the Ant-Man Annual. And why not check out Ant-Man? Because, well, he hits in the movie theaters this week. From Oni Press, we have Kaiju Max. <laughs> what else needs to be said? And last but not least, we have Dark Horse Comics' The Strain. If you're watching a TV show, this is a good book for you to be reading. As always, don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and don't forget to smash that like button many times.